Hello again, Michael Freiberg here from beautiful North Carolina. Today is the last shave using products from the Pass Around box. I'm going to be using the Floyd Sandalore pre-shave. I believe this is no longer being made. So that's a very, very nice uh, option to get to try out. For the shave cream today, it'll be Leah or Leia shave cream, mentholated. And I will finish off with the Floyd Vigoroso. So I've already wet my face. Let's go ahead and get the uh, get the pre-shave applied. This is one of those uh, one of those products I believe that is sadly discontinued, but much beloved, and therefore there was gnashing of teeth and wailing when it was no longer made available. It is a kind of a thin thin gel. People seem to really love this pre-shave. I have to say, in general, I've really fallen off the pre-shave bandwagon. I rarely use them. The last one that I used that I thought really did actually make a difference was a shave gel from Razor Rock that actually had a bit of a bit of a lathering effect itself. All right, there we go. I've not tried this before, so no idea how this is going to work or what it's going to impact, how easy it is to make a lather or not, but we'll soon find out. Yeah, trying to find this or trying to get this, like, a, you know, trade or something like that, uh, that's probably harder to do than uh, most people would like because it's, uh, yeah, sorely missed. All right, the Lea mentholated shaving cream. Uh, again, I have used, I think I've only used this once actually so far, just as a quick trial. Uh, I'm going to load up, I'm hoping, enough of this cream. It's another one of these sort of lightly pearlescent shiny creams. It didn't seem too mentholated last time. Uh, it has a, you know, a light scent, nothing, nothing crazy. I think this is again another one of these uh, sort of generally regularly available in some places or more mass market product. Uh, it is of course a metal tube as you can see from what's happened as it's traveled from person to person in the pass around box. It certainly suffered some indignities. Of course that's one of the issues with these metal uh, with these metal tubes. They, they tend to suffer a little bit, especially if you're traveling. Um, and for those of us that like to squeeze from the bottom and try to keep the tube as neat as possible. That's one of those things like, nope, that's gonna drive me a little bit crazy. But not to worry. Today's brush for the final shave. Sorry with that, the rod neep. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's add a bit of water. Yeah, a bit of a nice mentholated kick there, nothing too crazy cold but not jarring or one of those like overly face chilling shaves. I'm not sure this would really do the trick for people who are like real mental heads. Now I have to say the first time I've used this, well actually the only time I've used this, I was not really overly impressed with the cream. Frankly didn't work too well. Never really got a really strong lather out of it. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Shaved okay, but lather was really nothing to nothing to write home about. I think the shave stick generally is considered to be a better product, but honestly, don't know. I didn't try it. Was in the pass around box, but it's one of the products I passed on. All right, there we go. Not bad. Nothing spectacular, but serviceable, absolutely usable. All right, let's, uh... I think this is, by the way, the fifth shave on this, um, on this Iridium blade in the Stealth. Yeah, pretty slick. But definitely not uh, not like, wow, that's amazing. 
Nice and cold though. Nice, uh, nice even mental kick to it. Not strong enough for tears in the eyes. Yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a somber shade today. Attend the service for a colleague of mine who recently passed away after a battle with leukemia. Treatment seemed to be going well, had a relapse, and unfortunately that second round of treatment simply was too much. You may remember a previous video of mine where I take a colleague of another colleague of mine shaving his head for St. Baldrick's Day. Unfortunately, my colleague did not make it. That's also a good reminder just to, uh, you know, take those extra few minutes today and give your loved ones a big hug and a kiss. Take a few moments to call that old friend you haven't spoken to for a while. It's a good reminder of uh, how fast it can all go. Okay, first, first pass done. This will be another two pass shave where I'll simply combine mostly across a little bit against just the interest of time. There we go. I will say good slickness on the face during that rinse. Yeah, that very nice. All right, let's ladder up for pass number two. That already feels a little bit better, a little slicker on the outset there. I'm gonna add just a touch of water again. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely one of those products that's fun to use and it would absolutely be 100% serviceable if it was the only thing I could get, but it would certainly not be off the bat my first choice. I think I'd go for the palm olive over this. I like menthol, but it's absolutely not a uh, must-have part of my shave. Even, even in the hot parts of the summer, it's nice, but not a must do. Pass around box has been really fun. There's some really good stuff in there. There's a fantastic range of products in there. I've had a good time going through and sort of picking out the things that I'm not likely to use or at least not use anytime soon. I hate sitting on a cache or a stash of items that are just languishing. And items that might take me a long time to get to might bring a smile to someone else's face in that pass around box. So why not toss them in there? I'd rather see someone else use them than just have them sit in the box quietly crying to themselves, wondering when I will be so nice as to take them out. It's just a quick, a quick rinse. Now I'm just using the remainder of that soap. Let's do kind of a very quick cleanup. There we go. Good slickness on that, actually. There we go. All right, let me rinse my face. That's a pretty good shave for a quick two pass. 
Ah, cool to the touch. All right. Yeah, I can't believe how, how long that blade has lasted, honestly. I, I, that's got to be the fifth, maybe even the sixth shave on that blade. And uh, still doing a pretty good job. If I get a week out of it, be stunned. Normally get three shaves out of a blade, maybe four. Um, to get five or more, very uncommon for me. All right, so did that pre-shave really help? I don't know, it's hard to say. You'd have to do some experimentation before and after. Use it one day, not use it another. Keep everything else the same or use it for a week with, shave for a week without, and just see if you actually see a difference or not. Um, you know, if you love them and they really seem to make a difference for you, great. If not, it's really no requirement to use a pre-shave. All right, the aftershave, Floyd Vigoroso. So we have the Italian Floyd Sandalor. This is the Spanish Floyd, and I believe the Leah is a Portuguese product. So there you go, a nice Mediterranean tour for you. This again is a bottle, by the way, that has no regulator at the top, so you sort of have to uh, uh, hold your finger on the on the cap or on the top there to prevent what's happened to me the last couple of times, which is this enormous gush of aftershave. This is a, um, a, in the scheme of things, a relatively strongly scented aftershave. It has a very uh, sort of heavy or dense sweetness to it. Very nice cooling and kind of a combination of sort of a heavy, dense sweetness and a musky scent that definitely lasts and is definitely noticeable when you're wearing it to other people in the room. So if you have people, for example, that react too, you know, strongly to a too heavy a scent, this might be something to, uh, to avoid. But otherwise, smell I think is fantastic. Face feels really good. It is cooling. I think this is one of the ones that's mentholated or maybe highly mentholated. Oh, smells... Yeah, that's a great smell. Of the two, I think I would still prefer the uh, the Floyd Suave, which I think is you know dialed back from this. But if you're looking for something with a uh, a bit of punch to it, both in terms of the scent and the uh, sort of the mentholator cooling effect, highly recommend the Floyd products in general. Very nice aftershave. Oh, that feels pretty good. Okay, well with that, that's it. The shave is complete. I'm done. I'm going to just quickly pass through the products again used for today. The Floyd Sandalur Pre-Shave Gel. Seemed to work. Certainly uh, certainly easy to apply. It feels good on the face when you're putting it on. Have to see for yourself whether it really makes a difference in your shapes or not. The shaving cream today is the Leah, the mentholated after the shaving cream. Uh, there it is in English. Uh, that was okay. That was not great. That was not a stellar performer. Definitely works. Um, gets the job done, uh, but not uh, sort of not like an exploding set of lather there. And then to cap it all off, wonderful Floyd Vigoroso. Well, that's it again for today. I want to thank you all for watching, and until next time, goodbye.